welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my first update for pie or hashtag pie which is pan in everything. Yes my voice is slightly better today and I'm very excited. I, I actually took a day off from filming a few days ago. I had filmed two videos on the same day so I could take a day off and it has paid off and even though my voice isn't perfect it is much much better today so Yay! I am happy about that um, and I'm happy about this project. I have been wanting to do this project for a while and um, for those of you that don't know this is a collab so everyone that has joined into this it's going to be linked down below. It's kind of a small collab but we um, welcome you to join in. Um, I created it so if you want to join in please by all means it's just um, just kind of like it sounds we're trying to hit pan in everything makeup related that has like a pan or jar or anything like that where you can hit like a bottom whether it's glass or metal or whatever um so yeah that is that is the whole premise of this entire project because um mostly my style of panning is to finish everything which i enjoy doing that but then i also feel like so many of my products go untouched and this way if I eventually hit pan or jar or bottom whatever in everything in my collection I will feel like I've at least really used every product in my collection and that is the goal of this is um you know to make sure everything's touched and used and um you know it's pan and everything all right this does not have an end date it started last month and um, it goes, you know, everyone's collection is different, so it goes for as long as you guys want to do it. I'm going to go until I literally have pan in everything in my collection. And then when I have pan in everything, I probably will start pressing some of my um, loose shadows. And um, I have loose highlighters, loose blushes, all sorts of things. I'll probably press those into pans and then work on those as well so that they get some usage. <clears throat> No makeup left behind. All right. I started with five items in my intro, and I actually have pan in three of them. <clears throat> some of them I'm not surprised, and um, some I am. All right. The first one I am not very surprised. This is the Event Blossom Lip Balm, and um, I had a nice dip going in this, so I knew that I was going to hit pan on this one. And as you can see, I have decent pan there. It's a nice deep dip. And um, I enjoyed it, but um, it is time to roll this one out. It has been used. Very well used. <clears throat> the next one that I have pan in is from the e.l.f. Shimmer Palette. I was working on like this kind of tannish pink shade right here. And I do have pan in it right there in the center. I hope that's picking up. And, um, yeah, it was actually quite easy to hit pan in that one. So, um, you know, it was almost like a gimme. Both of those were kind of like gimme products, but <clears throat> they're still used. They still have pan. Um, the next one that I have pan in, I actually started on the side of this. It was brand new when I brought it in. This is the Be A Bombshell Submissive Eye Base. This thing is not deep at all. I, I was um, deceived in thinking there was a lot more product in here. Hopefully you can see that I have hit the side and the bottom of the jar up here. And um, I, I enjoy it. I, I completely enjoy it, but there's not a lot of product in here. And <clears throat> probably because I got it in a subscription box back a while back, um, I think it was in Ipsy. And, um, yeah, there's just, there's not a lot of product in that one. So that one is getting rolled out and, um, I will be rolling in three more things to hit pan in, but let me show you the two that I was not able to hit pan in. This first one is from the Jane Iredale palette. It is a cream concealer. I have a nice dip in it now, but I definitely am not in imminent danger of hitting pan any day. Um, I think partially because I am using mineral foundation right now, and so I ha I need very, very little of this. And, um, you know, my, my foundation, my mineral foundation really does a decent job of um, 
covering up the dark circles. This just helps brighten a little bit, but that's probably going to take a few months for me to hit pan on that one. The last one is Palooza from the ColourPop Uh Huh Honey. This is the one in the center. I have a nice dip in this one. <clears throat> Hopefully you can see the dip in it, but I have not hit pan yet. I do expect to hit pan on that by the next update. Um, I love it. I absolutely love that shadow. And um, I, I try not to wear it too frequently because it, it's kind of extra, but I, I enjoy it. <clears throat> I enjoy it a whole lot. All right. So three down, two rolling over, and I am going to add three in to replace the three that I hit pan on. <clears throat> Because I hit pan in a lip balm and I don't have any other lip balms and projects, I'm going to work on this CO Bigelow, my favorite lip balm. That is literally what it is called. It is not my favorite lip balm because it's in a pot, um, but this is what it looks like inside. It's got a little tiny bit of usage, but um, it's going to take me a while to hit pan on that one. So <clears throat> that lip balm is going to replace the Event Blossom one. In the e.l.f. Shimmer Palette, you know I couldn't just leave it alone. Since I hit pan in this one, I'm going to work on the white one to try to hit pan. And I fully expect, um, as shallow as these pans are and as soft as the product is, I fully expect to hit pan in this one by the next update. So, there is two. And the third one is from the Sephora Colorista Palette. Yes, that palette still exists. Um, this is the last gel liner that is from that palette, and I don't think I've even used this at all. It doesn't look like I've used it, and um, yeah, I would like to hit pan on it. I know it's starting to dry out a little bit, and um, I'm hoping that I am able to do that. <clears throat> that would be nice. I don't know that I can have it done by the next update, but we shall see. I'm going to probably try to use that in my eyebrows. It is really dark, but I have found with doing my eyebrows, because they're so thin naturally, um, that if I put some kind of like a gel, a cream, I'm using the Revlon mousse right now, um, I have to put something in my eyebrow in order to get any powder to stick. So I'm thinking putting a little bit of this in there might do the trick. Because I don't have, in any of my projects, I don't think I have any kind of, um, like, eyebrow product right now. No gels, no nothing. So, I'm just kind of using whatever. So, that's going to be probably what I'm going to use until I hit pan in it. And then, you know, I'm going to go on to something else. And um, <clears throat> I think for right now, I'm going to stick to just five this um, project in and of itself doesn't have a set number that we need to um, start with. I just chose five. It was a nice, easy number for me. I know some people are doing two, three, four. Um, it's, it's whatever. If you want to join in, pick whatever you want to hit pan on and, you know, just go at it and have some fun with it. No pressure whatsoever. That's part of why I like this project because, you know, if I don't hit pan in something one month, it's okay. There's no deadline. There's no deadline that says you have to finish this many products by this amount of time. And that's why I like it. No pressure at all. And you can put in really whatever you want, as long as it is makeup, put it in there. And um, I'm kind of debating whether or not I should do a spreadsheet for people to sign up if they want to join in on their own and um, just kind of put that in the description. If that's something, like if you guys want to join in and you want to see something like that, um, let me know in the comments if you want me to, <clears throat> pardon me, to put a sign up sheet and um, a spreadsheet down there so we can see who all has joined in since, you know, the original collab. And um, yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much it. So <clears throat> three down, many, many, many to go. I really should go through my inventory and count how many things I have in jars and pans and give a percentage because I know 
um, Claire and Aaron have talked about percentages of their collection, how much has pan and how much does, doesn't. Um, I haven't done anything like that because, like I said, I, I usually pan to finish a product, not hit pan on it. So my percentage is very, very, very small, like the tiniest itty bitty fraction of a percent, I'm sure. Yeah, pretty bad. So um, <clears throat> if that's something you want to see, let me know. If not, you know, if you're a numbers geek, you might want to see something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about the spreadsheet and like the sign up in the spreadsheet and um, and the percentages because it's going to take a lot of work to do the percentages. The spreadsheets, you know, won't take very long, but um, let me know. Let me know down there and go check out the other ladies because <clears throat> it's kind of it's kind of interesting to see just what people have in their collection. And this is that kind of project where you almost feel like you're snooping because they're rolling through products and you eventually will get to see it all. So it's to me, it's like a little snoop into people's collection. I'm weird like that. All right, go check them out. Show them some love. Eat some pie. You know, because Thanksgiving's coming. All right, wrapping this up. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.